welcome back to The Remedy, brought to you by Coos Health and Wellness. My name is Eric Gleason. Today, we're going to discuss tobacco-free spaces. And we have with us today the Tobacco Prevention Specialist for Coos Health and Wellness, Katrinka McReynolds. Thank you for joining us, Katrinka. Uh, thank you for having me, Eric. So, what does a Tobacco Prevention Specialist do at Coos Health and Wellness? Well, my work is to challenge our communities to become healthier by reducing tobacco use. And tobacco use is still the leading cause of preventable death in Oregon. So I work with partners in the community to promote smoke-free environments and to reduce the influence of tobacco product marketing. I also work to prevent youth from starting to use tobacco and encourage users to quit. That's awesome, I think that's very important. So today we're talking about your work promoting smoke-free outdoor spaces. How does smoking outdoors cause a problem? Right, so uh, the Surgeon General has concluded that there is no risk-free level of exposure to secondhand smoke. So smoke does dissipate quicker outside. Mm -hmm. But a person would still need to move as far as 25 feet, uh, about the same as a two-lane road, away in order to avoid the exposure from two or three people who are smoking. And that's a pretty significant distance that it's still affecting the people around you. Wow. So how, does, how do tobacco-free spaces help the community? Well, when we have tobacco-free events or tobacco-free spaces, it improves the quality of life not only for our residents but also for visitors. And by having those family-friendly environments, we can help youth not to start smoking in the first place. They won't see it as a norm in our community. It also creates an environment that supports people who are trying to quit smoking mm -hmm. or who have already quit smoking and don't want to be exposed to it. So modeling more positive behavior for our youth. Right. And modeling that behavior is uh, proven by the CDC to increase the percentage of youth who don't smoke. Right now, our percentage of youth who don't smoke in Coos County is 71%. Wow. And our percentage of adults who don't smoke is 70%. Wow. So what are the other benefits besides health uh, for tobacco-free spaces? Well, tobacco-free policies are also good for the environment. According to the Oregon Fire Marshal, one in 10 Oregon fires start from lit cigarettes. Wow. Yeah. That's so, baffling. Yeah, throwing a lit cigarette out of a car or smoking in a place that has flammable material can be very dangerous. Tobacco-free policies also help to reduce litter Cigarette butt litter is the most prevalent form of litter in the world, and it releases toxicants that are harmful to humans, pets, and to wildlife. When cigarette butts get deposited into our storm drains, they end up in our streams, our lakes, our rivers, our ocean, and they spread toxins that impair the water quality and damage our wildlife. So how can the community get hold of you to if they have questions about how to become a smoke-free space or how to champion smoke-free spaces. They can call me at 541-266-6766. All right, so if you have any questions regarding wanting to become your own smoke-free area as a community partner or community organization, or if you want to champion smoke-free spaces, get a hold of Katrinka at Coos Health and Wellness. I'm sure she'd love to help you. I would. That's good. And for Coos Health and Wellness and myself, Eric Gleason, this has been The Remedy. And we thank you for joining us again. And remember, together we can inspire healthier communities. Thank you.